Hello and welcome back to Tennis Paris Brothers. As you can see, I'm alone today. That's because my brother is doing a national tournament and we'll be showing you his experience. He has sent me some videos of him and hopefully the format uh, for the nationals. Hi guys and welcome back to Tennis Paris Brothers. In today's video, I'm traveling to Millfield School for the 12 and under youth national series. I'm really excited as I'm going to be playing 11 matches over 4 days against all the top players in my country. Okay, so warm up for the boys is from 9.25 to 9.50 so I can get a solid 25 minute warm up uh, and then after I'll get a 5 minute match warm up so that's a pretty good, good way to prepare for my match. My first match is starting at 11 o'clock and I'll be playing number 2 in the country. So I've just been reading about the scoring format, so it's going to be two fast four sets, um, the match tie break if it's one set all, it's 10 points, two clear. The journey just takes over 19 minutes, so we'll be staying over at the Wessex Hotel in Street, not far away from the school. Let's hope the weather is good because it's supposed to announce rain and there's no indoor backup courts. Okay, first year of Hogwarts, 1973. 1961. Yes, okay. Won that one. We've been playing now top drums most of the journey. We are now only 20 minutes away actually from Millfield, so very close. It's been quite warm in the car because it's nice and warm today. But I really hope we get there and we can explore because I've already had a hit today with my brother, so I'm prepared for tomorrow. So we just arrived at the Wessex Hotel. Let's check it out now. I've just woken up and about to go for breakfast now. Okay, so we've just arrived at the school and now we're going to be checking it out before my warm up. There is nine courts, so it's pretty nice. We've got cricket, we've got golf, we've got swimming, we've got everything, you name it.
All right, so I just finished my first two days from my first ever national, and here is what I thought. So I think on the first day, um, I wasn't playing as best as I could, and my first sub percentage wasn't very good, so I need to work on that, and I lost a few crucial sudden death points in my first match that kind of led to me losing. In that second match, I was playing like a tough player. Uh, I was always in the back fence because you get moonballing it, and there wasn't really much I could do. And in the last match, like mentally, it wasn't very positive. Yeah, I lost that on a 10 point tie break. Day two, I played much better, uh, more positive, and yeah, so I played a strong player. He just had a better serve, better forehand. That led to him winning the matches, a few like mistakes, but overall, it's pretty good. And then the, obviously, the rain affected a bit the match. Luckily, I didn't just finish. I feel like in my second match, I was like really going for my shots. And that's why I won uh, the set for love. Yeah, and then I had a mess up the time break because I lost that first set. And yeah, so it was it's been a good experience so far. And I hope I do better next day. So. All right, so now I'm just going to review my matches in the Rafiki Tennis Match Journal. All right, so the date was the 13th. Pre-match singles. The surface was hard courts. Tournament. Opponent strength. Right, well, my opponent was really good at, um, like, getting balls back into play, being very consistent, and he definitely went in the match having a game plan, so that's obviously very good. So he knew what to do against me. Opponent's weakness. He wasn't, like, the best when D balls were coming. They would get back behind the ball, but then the balls would come short, so that gave me a great opportunity to try and like step in and attack and finish off the points. Okay, so um, obviously I've played um, Casey a couple of times um, and so I know what he plays like. So my game plan was, I know that he likes to go around his backhand to hit a forehand. So what I tried to do was I tried to like push it out wide and not so wide that he would hit a backhand. Um, so he'd go around hit forehand, so I opened up the court um, and I tried to play really aggressive. I think the first set wasn't too bad, second set was good, um, the last set was not the best, so I might give it yeah. That's something I've definitely been working on, so I'd be forehand. I think it's pretty good. Movement of maybe a 4 out of 5. Uh, the serve was actually pretty good. I didn't miss too many serves or do any double faults. So I was pretty happy with that. Backhand, I thought I strike the ball pretty nicely. Uh, that definitely won quite a lot of points when I really like rotated through the ball. So I'll give that a 5. Tactics. Well, didn't really work because I didn't win that set. Um, Returned, yeah, that was pretty good. Volley, well, I didn't really hit many volleys. I think when I did go in hit a volley, I won the point a couple of times. Um, not off the volley though. Um, I think he's missed or yeah, I hit a put away. So that was four. Enjoyment. Okay, what did I do well? I, I was stuck with my game plan and I was being aggressive and I was trying to make him move. Alright, what do I need to work on? And that was like tie breaks. I, I just won the set for love and I struggled to like close the tie break after because I lost that first set and I think it's like crucial points what I need to work on. Thoughts for the next time I play the opponent. I think what I need to do is I think I just need to play like the more crucial points better. Not to give him too many opportunities to try and like stay in the point because I did mention that he's good at like getting balls back in play, not like missing easy or Giving up. Okay, what to bring in my bag? I'm gonna bring scooping rope, towel, water, um, obviously my Rafa Key tennis match journal. Good to like reflect on my matches, as I'm doing right now. I think that's the most important bit. Key thoughts. I think I played 
solid and I didn't give him like too many opportunities to win easy points. Match goals. I think my match goals is to enjoy competing, stay positive and give him my best shot or never give up. That's the good one. Last but not least, my tactic. Right, so I think that what I try to do is I try to push him out wide and then I put it down the line and um, always at his backhand so he's under pressure and then I can just finish one down the line. So I think my second tactic was trying to do like an angle and then I opened up the rest of the court. For first serve, like depending on what side if it's a juice or the add, I try and just get like a deep ball back, also his backhand because I'll always put him under pressure and I can try and seek the forehand and try and hit an aggressive shot. And then the second serve, then I try and go like down the line, uh, try and like step in the ball, take it early. First uh, return. Uh, okay, so that's just me finishing my my uh, my match planner. Here is what it looks like.